Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And in the last video, we cut a bunch of oak logs and turned them into oak planks. The goal for now, though, is to get the 67 construction for Mahogany Eagle Lectern, so that way we can make house tally tabs. Having house tabs is going to be so nice so we can actually be on other spellbooks and still get to the house. It'd be nice for like Slayer, Skilling, uh, Clue Scrolls, Farm Runs, and a bunch of other things too. But let's jump right into the video and get this thing going. Okay, how much is the gold leaf here? Oh god. 130k? Actually, isn't it worth- it's worth more on the GE. This is like the new money making meta. Alright, we gotta do it. How much were these? Oh boy, not looking forward to getting that one. Alright, now we could uh, build a servant's money bag. Okay, so even though we only have 57 construction, we can boost with the crystal saw to make the servant's money bag, so that way we can save an inventory space when we uh, start doing the oak larders in just a minute here. 600 XP from spending like 130k, totally worth it though. Okay, we are now starting the long and tedious construction grind. Let's uh, set up our screen to look like this and we'll get like perfectly, uh, let me stretch this out a bit so we get like in the corner here so we can uh, just like do the whole right click, left click, remove and get the, the keys going and all that good stuff and uh, catch you again at the next level. I forgot to put the money in the money bag. We just made it and teleported right out. So we have to go back again. The XP was looking so good too. I totally didn't even realize we were about to get the level, but there's 58 construction already. That was really fast, actually. Oh, okay, now we can build the servant's money bag, even though we have it already. This is like the super OP method for train construction. Don't even have to move the mouse, except when the, the butler comes back. Just hold down your ones and twos, and uh, you get the feel for it very fast, and the XP just like shoots on by. You just talk to him once, fetch from bank. There used to be a second chat interface right there, but like, I guess they got rid of it. Literally devalues my 99 construction on my main account. Here we go, we're gonna remove this last one, build it, and that's going to be 59 construction. So we started with 1769, and by the end of this, hopefully we'll be at 1779. So it's like 10 easy total levels, like super, super fast. This is like the one of the lowest skills on the account, and uh, yeah, just been putting it off, but now the gains are gonna come in. Also the average XP, uh, I am streaming, so it's gonna be kind of scuffed, but uh, Averaging like 170k per hour. It should be much higher, but that's just what it is. Alright, here we go. One more larder, and it's going to be the big 6 0 construction. There's probably like 20 things that you can make at this level. Seven rooms, throne room, ooh. Uh, all this stuff. <laughs> I missed getting the level, but the message is still up here. So here's 61 construction. We could do some uh, fashion scape things with the house. It's going to cost money that we don't have to spend. When I was maxing my main account, I got every single skill to 98, like. 1k xp level except for construction i had construction at level 60 and that's like the worst mistake i ever made when maxing because construction is such an awful skill to train i would highly highly recommend doing like one hour per day until you get to 99 because it's such an awful skill to do all at once it's like i spent like five and a half days of straight up just training construction for like 10 plus hours a day it was not a fun time i was literally in my dungeon in my house in my poh not my real house for the whole time it's very, very depressing. Here we go now, coming in strong with 62 construction. I almost missed it. I almost went onto the remove the larder. But there it is, 63 con. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Let's keep it going. Alrighty, here it is, 64 construction. No, one day there's gonna be a meme for every single number from one to 100, just like 73 and 35 and 69. Eventually, every number is gonna be a meme. Last larder right here, and this is going to be 65 construction. It ends in a 5. That's how you know it's a good level. Uh, we can build a superior garden. That's kind of cool. Oh, we can build a restoration pool. Uh, we'll need to get stamina's for the higher tier pool eventually, which I would really like to get. So we still need like 10 more early levels, but we'll get there. Here's the last one. Level 66. Well, not the last one. The last one for the level. Also, the last level until we got the last level till we're done. If one level left is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here's the last final larder that we need for level 67 construction. I'm going to stop here because we could build the Mahogany Eagle Lectern, but we're going to stop at 67. I think it's a nice, uh, I mean, it's not really a nice level. It's kind of like a weird level, but we're going to stop here for now. Let's go ahead and build our Mahogany Eagle Lectern. Now, one more thing I want to check. We'll build this last one. Log out. Now, the rank I was before with uh, 57 construction. So I had 57 construction before. We were about 1500 rank. Now let's update it, and 842, top 1k construction, triple digits. 
But now that we're done with the uh, making the planks and stuff, we're going to move the rooms back to where they were before so we can have the maximum efficiency tick perfect house once again. We're going to have the chapel room move this down one. And boom, just like back to how it was before. Apparently, we have to get another gold leaf for Mahogany Eagle like turn, and uh, all our cash is in the money bag. And then this is the cash stack now. So let's uh, out some like rune items and get a bit of cash stack back. I should have just bought the two while I was there, but I didn't realize we need to get another one. So it's unfortunate. Back again with the scammer stealing all of our money from us. Rest in peace, cash stack. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have everything to build this next lectern. So let's remove this old one. And we should be able to build the mahogany. I, th I thought it was like down here. I'm like, where is it? Mahogany Eagle Lectern. That's the one for the, uh, the, the house teletab. So if we study it, take a look, and how is it? There it is, house teleport. Sweet. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of these. How much soft clay do we have from like, we had some left over from a while ago, and then we also got some drops from neck reels. 544, that should be plenty. Maybe we'll just use like 500 into house tabs. Or how many law rooms do we have? Oh, just enough law rooms as well. We'll go with 500, that's a fair amount. Where's my dust staff though? I need to kill some more superiors. I uh, guess we'll just stick with the staff of air because we have a lot of earth runes, but not so many air runes. We're gonna grab an air staff out of here. Okay, okay, now we're ready to go for real. So we'll go to our house. I think we have it rendered with doors open already. Um, if you have your house rendered with doors closed, it's really annoying. So you could uh, go to this thing, go to house, render doors open, actually, Let's switch this to no doors. I think this is like a new feature. So now if we go out and back in. There should be no doors in the house. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. So we don't like misclick or anything. And then we come right here. Super easy. Study lectern. Got our house tabs. Make all. And now we just sit back and chill. Then once we make all the tablets, we can come out here. We have the cash stack for this very reason. So we talked to this dude, Files. We could use our soft clay on him. Unnote all or exchange all for 115 GP. It's like 5 GP each. We got all of our soft clay back. We go back in the house and repeat all over again. Super easy. This is a very common alt account that people have. This is like the best animation in the game. Also, do you guys like my fashion scape? I think it's like perfect. It's like the ultimate Iron Man fashion scape. So here's the last inventory for 500 house teletabs. So now we can be on like Lunars or even uh, Ancients and uh, teleport home like for like Slayer tasks and stuff. Um, now I'm thinking I want to do some more Herbivores because they're fun and I like to do them. And also I want to go for a 77 Herbivore for Stamina. Now we do have a fair bit of herbs saved up in the bank right now, but I don't think it's enough for 77. So we're going to stay at uh, Herbivores for a little while with uh, doing farm runs in between, of course, for the maximum herbage possible. Let's take a look at how many tabs we have in the bank in total. Oop, I dropped it over here. All right, here's like all of, that's a good amount of tabs that we have in the bank right now. And then also here's the herb lore tab as well, or right here, here's the herbs that we have. It's a fair amount of herbs. I mean, the air, it's over a thousand. It's very juicy. But that is going to be all for today's video. Uh, we got a nice boost to the total level with all those construction levels, and we can actually think about upgrading some things in the house now. And otherwise, I want to thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.